Uh, now, it's very important that you realize that this is not what I call the social media definition of basal invagination. In fact, most of the patients who claim they have basal invagination because they have one or more lines, McCray's line, et cetera, violated, really do not have basal invagination. Basal invagination is what you see here. That's where the DENS goes up into the frame and magnum, and there's clear pressure and change in shape on the medulla. Um, so this isn't contact of the DENS against the medulla or the upper spinal cord. This is compression that changes the shape of that structure. And more akin to something like this. Now, of the different patients I have seen on social media, um, far fewer than 1% who believe they have basal invagination or compression of their brainstem have anything that looks like this. Uh, so again, be very, very careful here because this is not the social media definition of basal invagination, but it's the true surgical definition of basal invagination.